Vlogmas. Today I am coming to you with my December holiday Disney pin board. So it is a big cork board and I put all of my favorite Disney holiday pins and kind of pins that remind me of December and Christmas and, and also New Year's. I actually had to buy a larger cork board to fit everything that I wanted to into this project of mine. So let me see if I can just give you a little peek. It's really big. Like, it's bigger than me, and it's bigger than what can fit into the frame of my camera. And um, obviously there's a lot of pins on here. There's, I think, about a hundred pins on this board. But I've also got some Christmas cards that you guys sent me and some other cute things. So I'm excited to show you kind of how I got a little bit creative with this month's pin board. And I, I really like the way that it turned out. It looks awesome. Before I reorient my camera and start talking about all of the different pins on this board, I just wanna say a sincere thank you to everybody that sent me holiday cards this year. Ever since I opened that P.O. box, I've been getting a lot of mail and I tried to include a handful of them on this board. But if I did not get your holiday card onto this board, I still did get it or I will get it and I'll either feature it in a video or send you something in the mail or both, so don't fret. Like I'm, I'm gonna get to it. I just, I couldn't fit everything that I wanted to on this board, but thank you. So without further ado, I'm gonna kind of reorient myself and give you guys a tour of my December holiday Disney pin board. I really hope you like it. I had a great time putting this together. So now I'm gonna start up here at the upper left-hand corner. I actually have a few non-Disney pins and non-Disney items. This is a big D, a big letter D, that my friend Coral from Coral Joy Travel sent to me, um, D for Disney Kids and also D for dentist, which is kind of an inside joke between the two of us. I had to include this on the board. And underneath it is the card that she sent me, which is actually not officially a Christmas card. It's a Corgi card, and that's also kind of an inside thing. But it says, hey, gorgeous, and it's a Corgi. And then sticking out from the side, I've got a little Winnie the Pooh Christmas um, bookmarker or uh, planner page marker, which is super, super cute. And I can't remember the name of the Etsy seller I got this from. I got it kind of a long time ago. So up here I have my two non-Disney pins. I've got two pins that are Harry Potter themed. They both came from Universal Studios in Orlando. Harry Potter is very Christmassy in my book, so I had to get my Hogwarts Express pin. I love trains, and Hogwarts Express is like the ultimate Christmassy train because it's bright red. And then here we have a chocolate frog pin. This opens up. Inside there's a chocolate frog, and it actually smells like chocolate. So this is actually one of my all-time favorite pins, even though it's not Disney. Moving down to this pin, this is a really cute recent release this holiday season. It's an open edition Dumbo pin and he's got a little Christmas hat and Christmas kind of ruffles on, around his neck and he's holding his magic feather. That was a gift from Coral, which is why I put it next to her card and next to her her letter D. <laughs> and then underneath the card, I have another pin that is a recent release. This was also a gift from my friend Carrie. Uh, who's a subscriber to this channel, and it's the Grand Floridian holiday pin, and you open this little ornament up, and inside it has the penguins from Mary Poppins decorating the Grand Floridian gingerbread house. And if you've ever been to Disney World around Christmas, if you go over to the Grand Floridian Resort, there is a big gingerbread house in the lobby that you can check out. It's very cool, so that's what that pin is about. Moving over here, I have a bunch of pins that are Duffy, kind of, from around the world. This is a, a booster pack. I think it's still currently available. Um, but it's basically got various Duffy bears in his various costumes from around the world. There's the France one and the Mexico one. They're just really, really, really adorable. Um, and Christmas screams teddy bears to me, so I had to include Duffy. And then down here at the very bottom, there is a little Shelly Mae bear pin, and that is a pin that I traded for in the park. Shelly Mae is Duffy's girlfriend, in case you didn't know. Right underneath Duffy, I have a Donald Duck hidden Mickey pin. He's sleeping and looking super cozy. That's just kind of a one-off on this board, but I thought it looked kind of Christmassy. And then down here at the bottom, I have a Santa Goofy button from Parkbound Buttons. If you've heard of the Instagrammer Casey and the Bear, she owns Parkbound Buttons. And I've got several buttons of hers on this board, but I love Santa Goofy. This totally reminds me of being at Disney during Christmas, so I had to include this on my board. It says hashtag Parkbound. And speaking of parkbound buttons, here is another one of hers. It's Mickey, and he's wearing a cute scarf and some plaid shorts, and it says, I can't wait for Christmas. 
and it is next to a card that has that same Mickey on it. I got this card from my friend Ryan, Ryan from Disney Pins blog. He's got a great website and a great YouTube channel if you are into Disney Pins, so highly recommend checking out DisneyPinsBlog.com or, or the Disney Pins blog YouTube channel, but Ryan sent me that card for Christmas, so thank you, Ryan. And now shifting down here, I have some of the Small World Holiday Mystery Pin Set that was released at Disneyland this year. So this is the China Pin. This is actually one of the Chasers. It's limited edition of 200. This is the Hawaii Pin. I love this one. It's also limited edition of 200, one of the Chasers. And then over here I've got the American one. It says Happy Holidays and it's got a cute glittery snowman with a, some cute snowflakes. I really like the design of that pin and the colors. Underneath that there is the Germany pin from the set. Not one of the chasers but one of my favorites because my heritage is German. These pins for a mystery set are just, they're gorgeous, they're glittery, they're actually quite large. And here is the Russia pin. If you watch my pin unboxings, I got like four of these. I've got multiple Russia pins um, that I'm looking to trade away. So if you want a small world Russia pin, let me know. And then finally over here, this is not from the mystery set, but this is from Disneyland this year. This is the small world holiday limited edition pin that came out this year. It's got a pin on pin design. There's some glitter elements. It's just a gorgeous pin and, and someone was very kind to pick this up at Disneyland for me um, a couple months ago. So thank you. Hi Suki, did you come to say hi? Yep, Suki's down here. She's very interested in my pin board. Okay, moving back up here to the top, this is actually a jumbo pin that was released at Disneyland this season. It says, Viva Navidad, and it features the three caballeros, which I love. And this one is limited edition of 1,000, and um, someone kindly picked this up for me. I enjoy the three caballeros a lot, and I don't know, I, just, I don't really take a lot of jumbo pins into my collection, but this one was just cool. I like the colors and the design, and I just thought it was extra festive and kind of unique. Down here I have a card from Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2016. I was able to attend last year and this was actually the autograph card that you got if you met Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps from Zootopia and I did get a chance to meet them. Here's a quick picture of that. And on the reverse of this card, you have their autographs. So I just have a small Zootopia collection. I've got these two emoji pins. These are from a Hong Kong Disneyland mystery set. Uh, Allie from Miss Allie Cakes sent me those as a gift, which was so, so nice. So thank you, Allie, if you're seeing this. And I also have Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps from the teacup mystery set that recently came out there. That was a purchase with purchase set at Hong Kong Disneyland. And then down here, also from Hong Kong Disneyland, this is the most recent addition to my Zootopia collection. It is Judy Hopps, and she is in a train. That pin is limited edition of 300. I love it. Like I said before, and I'll probably say it again before this video is over, trains make me think of Christmas. I love trains, especially toy trains for this season. And this pin is the main reason that I wanted to include a little Zootopia collection on this pin board. Moving down, I've got a Snow White pin that is the Tassel pin. It's an open edition. These are currently available in the parks for all of the Disney princesses. I chose to put Snow White on here because she's my favorite princess, but also because it's that bright red and it makes me think of holidays. Underneath it, there is a Tsum Tsum open edition pin. It features Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. All seven of them are on there. There's a sliding element, and if you pull on Doc's head, you can see the rest of the dwarves, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I did it on my pin board yesterday. And then underneath that, there is Grumpy holding a Christmas sweater and the pin says, ho, ho, no. So I kind of wanted to include that near my other Snow White pins on this board. This Christmas card right in the center was sent to me by a subscriber. I think her name is Nisha, or it might be Nisia, but she sent me a couple of really sweet gifts and also this card, and I wanted to make sure that I included it on my pin board, so thank you for the holiday mail. And then down here I have another holiday card that was sent to me by a subscriber. This came from Veronica, thank you very much. And it's not a Disney card, but I included it because it looked like a scene from Bambi, so I put my Bambi on Ice with Thumper pin on there. I also thought that this little Chip and Dale roasting acorns over a fire would fit this scene very well. And I also have this really adorable Mickey snowman pin. He's holding a candy cane and he's got a cute red striped scarf and hat. And this is just, you know, I don't think this is limited edition. I think it's been open edition for a while. It might be retired now, but it's not super rare. But it's just one of my favorite pins. I love the way that that one looks. And I chose to include 
all three of those pins on this Christmas card I thought just made a really nice scene. So thank you, Veronica, for the card. Okay, moving back up here toward the top center, I've got Mickey and a little Christmas star. That is a pin that I got a while back in a trade. Then I have the three pins that were kind of limited release at DisneyStore.com this season. So there's Minnie, Mickey, and Pluto, and they all have reindeer antlers. I believe this was um, part of a charity drive, and the pins were only $5, and they were very popular um, because they're very, very pretty, actually. I really like these pins. And then on the other side of those pins, I've got Minnie in the festive star, so she matches the Mickey on the other side. You can see them all together there. <laughs> Underneath that, I've got a set of four Disney Christmas stocking pins. These were exclusive to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party this year. I did not get to attend, but I had a friend, Jim, pick these up for me, so thank you, Jim, for grabbing these. And it's got Tigger in a Winnie the Pooh-themed stocking, Mike Wazowski in a Sully-themed stocking, Chip and Dale in a Donald Duck-themed stocking, and Minnie Mouse in a Mickey stocking. And this is the card that they came on in the packaging, but I wanted to include it on the board because I absolutely absolutely love this little cartoon. Have you ever seen this little cartoon with Chip and Dale? I think that might be the Pluto Christmas tree cartoon, but I love this scene so much and I just, I wanted to include the whole fireplace deal on this pin board, so there you go. Shifting over here to the left of my stockings, I've got a Seasons Greetings pin featuring Mickey and Minnie in their Victorian holiday outfits. Here is a pin from last year's Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. This was exclusive to the party, and I think this is the Beauty and the Beast one, yes. These are limited edition, and uh, inside there is the Beast and Belle in the Christmas scene from the movie, and there's the castle in the background, and I just absolutely love this scene, and I absolutely love this pin. And right underneath it, I have another train because I love trains at Christmas. There's Mickey and Minnie in the Casey Jr. train. This pin is a Shanghai Disneyland pin. And I'll move across here to the right side of my stockings. On this side, I have a pin from Hong Kong Disneyland. This is truly one of my favorite holiday pins in my collection. It features Duffy, Shelley Mae, and Gelatoni. And they're kind of sitting around the table enjoying some looks like duffy shaped Christmas cookies, which maybe is kind of weird. And there's a beautiful snowy scene in the background. Underneath that, I have another pin from last year's Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. This is actually the pass holder exclusive. I was an annual pass holder this year, and I am again this year. But this one has a gingerbread theme. It's really pretty, it opens up. And there's Mickey and Minnie as gingerbread mice, I guess. And in the background, there is the sparkly lit up Cinder uh, Cinderella's castle, which is really cool. Um, I like the Beauty and the Beast one slightly better, but this kind of sums up the way that the Christmas party feels to me. So I was happy to have that. And then on the inside, it says 2016 Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party uh, annual pass holder. And underneath that, another train from Shanghai Disney Resort. Uh, just a little different view. Mickey and Minnie in the back of the Casey Jr. train. So underneath the fireplace, I've got some toys set out. Actually, some Toy Story pins. So I have Jessie. I believe this pin is from a booster set. I have this pin featuring Buzz and Woody in front of a stack of gifts. This one's limited edition. I think it was a Disneyland exclusive. Maybe limited edition of 1,000 or, or 1,500, but it's got some pretty glittery elements to it, and I don't have a lot of Toy Story pins, but I really like this one, and obviously toys remind me of Christmas. And then over here, I've got Bullseye the Horse, and that's from that same booster pack that Jesse is from. Underneath that, I've got a Buzz Lightyear and Little Green Alien pin, and it's got the Z for the evil Emperor Zerg, so this reminds me of the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin attraction. I've got another Casey Jr. pin in the center because, like I said, I like trains at Christmas, and I think this is from a booster set. And then this was from the Storybook Steeds Mystery Conceal Reveal sets. This is Buttercup, the unicorn from Toy Story 3. Um, this is the infamous pin that I totally got wrong when I opened it and called it the unicorn from um, Inside Out, which I just misspoke, but people gave me a really hard time. But here, here's Buttercup, and I know that it's Buttercup, and I know that he's from Toy Story 3, so give me a break, people. And I have one more Toy Story pin underneath, and this is the Toy Story Midway Mania Doorways to Disney pin. This has a sliding element, Buzz Lightyear slides open, this door opens up, and inside there are the little green aliens, and this is, of course, a scene from the actual ride, Toy Story Midway Mania, which you can ride in Disneyland and Disney World. And like I said, toys just remind me of Christmas, so it seemed like a good board for this pin. 
Over here is a very sweet pin. It is Mickey as Santa with Pluto as a reindeer and in Mickey's bag, there is Duffy the bear. Love Duffy bear. And then over on this side is a pin that I actually wanted to include on my Halloween board and I just, I didn't get her on there and she's not very Christmassy except for maybe the red cape, but it is Minnie Mouse as Little Red Riding Hood. And I have kind of a thing with Little Red Riding Hood. I love Little Red Riding Hood for some personal reasons. And this is actually one of the more rare pins on the board. I think this is limited edition of 300, um, but I just think it's really cool. And I don't know, it's not totally Christmassy, but it looks nice on this board, so I just I stuck it on there anyway because I, I really like that pin. Moving down another row, I have my Pinocchio Doorways to Disney pin. Something about the cuckoo clock and the toy making makes me think of Christmas. So Pinocchio slides over, the cuckoo clock opens, and inside there's Jiminy Cricket. Um, I don't know, it just felt Christmassy to include this on this board, so there he is. And here is one of my most recent Snow White pins that I've gotten. This is from Tokyo Disney Resort. It's actually my only Tokyo pin as far as I know. And it's got kind of a stained glass element to it and it just it looks a little bit holiday and festive, which is why I put her on this board. And if you know me, I'm also just obsessed with Snow White. So gotta get some Snow White on every pin board. And then over here there is Mary Poppins and it's a jolly holiday with Mary Poppins. I know that's not really referring to Christmas, but she's wearing Christmassy looking colors and you can always meet her at the Christmas parties at Disney World. So I thought this was a good board for, for Mary to go on to. And speaking of Mary Poppins, this is the only other Mary Poppins pin that I own. It is the um, step in time pin. So there's some chimney sweeps dancing in the background and Mary with her carpet bag and it's just gorgeous. And, and I think it just fits the, the look, the aesthetic of this board well, even though it's not specifically for Christmas. Down here, I've got Mickey and Minnie and they are ice skating and smooching. Obviously fits very well on the Christmas board. And then I have three beautiful gold and green princess cameo pins. So I've got Jasmine, Tiana, and Ariel, and they are not for Christmas, but I absolutely love the Princess Cameo pins. I would love to have the entire set of these. They're just so gorgeous, and they, they look festive. They look special to me. Down here at the bottom, I have a little embellishment. It says, Believe. This was mailed to me in a really generous package by one of my subscribers, Drew. He sent me a whole bunch of fun Christmas stuff and some Disney things, and I just wanted to get something from Drew onto this board. So thank you, Drew. I think it adds a really nice touch to my, to my Christmas board. I love the plaid and the pine cone and, and the glitter. And then shifting over a bit, this is a Christmas card that was mailed to me by one of my subscribers, Gina. Thank you, Gina. I thought this would be a beautiful background for my Christmas jammies mystery pins. So I've got Mickey in his Santa jammies. I've got Dale and Chip, or Chip and Dale, in their elf jammies. And then over here, I've got Scrooge McDuck in his plaid pajamas. And then I've got Goofy with his onesie and his long stocking cap. If you watched my pin unboxings, I had terrible luck with these pins. This one I actually had to trade for. Um, I really want the whole set, but that might take a while. Anyway, I really like the Jammies set, so if you have any of the Jammies pins that aren't these ones, I would love to trade you or buy them from you, so let me know. And then shifting up here, this is just a Christmas card that I actually had made that I mailed out to some people, mostly my YouTube friends. And it says Mary, and it's got pictures of me at the Christmas party and in the parks last year. There's me meeting Nick and Judy, Snow White and her prince, my favorites, and then Santa Goofy. So um, I should have had more of these made because there are a lot of people that I would love to have sent them to, uh, but I ran out. So next year I know to make more special Christmas cards for people. Okay, here is another Snow White pin. It's not a it's not a Disney Kitty pin board without a bunch of Snow White. So here she is. I showed this yesterday in my Snow White collection, but this is a cast member exclusive. Oops, from this year, sorry, so shaky. I'm like kneeling over here. Um, and it's got some beautiful embellishments on the hinge part of the pin. It's an apple, obviously, it opens up. It says, Happy Holidays 2017, and there's Snow White with a beautiful red background and some snowflakes. Love this pin. Here is a pin that I picked up last year when I was at Disney World during the holidays. It says, Happy Holidays 2016. It features Minnie Mouse. There's some kind of baubles and rhinestones on the wreath. And then when you open this up, it's the Pop Century Resort pin because that's where I stayed last year during the holiday season. I was there all by myself and Pop Century is a great place to stay if you are doing a solo trip, I found. 
And then right up here at the top, there is Scrooge McDuck as Ebenezer Scrooge from Mickey's Christmas Carol. This is an iron-on patch that was included in my most recent Disney Funko Treasures unboxing, so I had to put that on there. Okay, and then moving over here, I've got some Tsum Tsum pins. I've got Donald, Mickey, Goofy, and Dale. These are from the Christmas Tsum Tsum sets. And then I've got Sven, and he's not from that set, but I just love Sven, and I don't know, I put him by there because because I love Sven from Frozen. And speaking of Sven, I've got another park-bound button, and it says, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Obviously Sven from Frozen. <laughs> And I have this beautiful, beautiful Christmas card. It is glittery and it's got Goofy, Mickey, and Donald on it. I believe this is my card from my subscriber, Francis. So thank you, Francis, for sending me that. I super, super appreciate it. It's stunning. Over here, there's another poo um, page holder or uh, paper clip. What do you call it? Planner clip. And he's got some uh, antlers on in this one. So I love my poo clips. Right underneath my glittery card, I've got five of the nesting dolls. I actually had the entire set, but I just put the five on that looked the most festive to me. So I've got Belle, Elsa, Anna, Snow White, and Mary Poppins. I love all the nesting dolls. And then shifting over here, I have my Mickey's Christmas Carol Tsum Tsum pins. I've got uh, Scrooge McDuck as uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. I've got Goofy as Jacob Marley, which I, this is my favorite one from the set. I've got little tiny Tim Mickey Mouse here, Jiminy Cricket as the ghost of Christmas past, and then frickin' Pete, Pete who I got four of, four Petes, who is apparently the, gro the ghost of Christmas future. So I contemplated putting all four of my Pete pins on this board, but I thought that was just gonna make me sad. So there they are. Those are the five unique ones that I have. In the center, I have another gorgeous Disney Christmas card. This one came from my best friend, Pam. She sent me some cute Disney goodies for Christmas and she included this card that says, Oh Joy, thanks Pam. Shifting up here, I've got a bunch of my Hong Kong Disneyland lollipops. This came from a mystery tin from the Hong Kong Resort uh, Disney. Christmas makes me think of sweets and goodies, so I've got a Tinkerbell pop, Sully, Oswald, Lotso, Shelly Mae, Duffy underneath her, Stitch, and Alice. I have a couple more that didn't make it onto this board, but, um, but that's okay. <laughs> Shifting over here, there's a cute button that a subscriber made for me. My subscriber, Bonnie, made this. Thank you, Bonnie, I love this. Um, it's Figaro, and he's got a little Christmas bow on, and he's got reindeer uh, headband antlers on his head. He looks adorable, so thank you, I love Figaro. And speaking of Figaro, I've got Figaro on his bed, which is also a train right underneath. This pin is limited edition of 500. It came from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. One of my favorite pins in my whole collection. Um, it is a train. This is the only part of the train that I have. Someday when I get my act together, I might try, try to hunt down other pieces of this. I actually think it's a cat train. Um, and there's a pin on pin element. So Figaro's like on top of, of the bed, obviously. And then finally over here, we're moving into what I am calling my New Year's Eve corner. So this is kind of, you know, the last day of December is December 31st, which is New Year's Eve. It's the cusp of, of 2018. So I've just got a couple things to like say goodbye to 2017. So I've got um, a 2017 Marie pin. This was a gift from my friend Coral, which was really sweet. I've got this pin here that says, find your happily ever after Magic Kingdom kind of some inspiration to go forward, you know, like you're gonna go out and find your happily ever after, just like the new fireworks show says. I love the new happily ever after fireworks, by the way. They are awesome. Down here I've got a pin that is Carousel of Progress themed. This came from a mystery set, the 28 and Main set. It says there's a great big beautiful tomorrow, um, which I think is a great note to end the old year on and kick the new year off on. This pin I put on because it reminds me of New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve fireworks. This is from the Shanghai Disney Resort opening. I actually got this pin in Epcot and it's a spinner, the fireworks spin. It's, it's really one of the most beautiful pins I own. And my friend Coral has a matching pin because we met each other on this trip. So it's special in that it reminds me of our friendship as well. So love this one. And then finally, I've got last year's Happy New Year button from Parkbound Buttons. So this is kind of like a goodbye 2017, hello 2018 button. Again, it's from Parkbound and it features um, the Disney World, Cinderella Castle, Magic Kingdom Castle with some gorgeous fireworks in the background. 
And there is just one more look at my entire December holiday pin board. I will have a new pin board set up for January. Probably not quite this big though. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my monthly Disney pin board. I do do this every month. This is a new thing I've started on my channel as a way of kind of slowly sharing my Disney pins with you in a way that's kind of creative and hopefully not too overwhelming. If you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if I should keep making videos about Disney pins. And also let me know in the future if you would be open to me kind of including letters and cards from you guys on some of my monthly pin boards. I think it's a nice way to kind of feature and show off some of the lovely things that you all have sent me. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart um, to everyone who took the time to send me something this month. I so appreciate it. And I should also point out the ears that I'm wearing today. These ears were actually a gift from my friend Coral. I mentioned her earlier in the video. She got these for me for Christmas. They are, of course, Marie Aristocats inspired Disney ears. They're super, super plush, and they are from the shop Ears by Eden. So I will leave a link to Ears by Eden down below. And thank you again, Coral, for the amazing ears. If you are still watching, thank you. And if you are hanging around looking for today's Disney advent calendar openings, those are coming up right now. Now, it is almost Christmas and it is time to open my advent calendars for December 22nd. So I'm gonna start with my Tsum Tsum calendar. There they go, they're flying all over the place. And I'm gonna start with this door right here, which is door number 22. I think this one is Thumper's girlfriend. Miss Bunny, maybe, Miss Bunny? Oh my gosh, she's really cute. Whoever she is, she's really cute. Like, hello, hello little bunny friend. She's got her cute little ears and her little pink nose. She's got an awesome little um, festive collar with a green bow and her little bunny tail. Absolutely love the Miss Bunny festive Tsum Tsum. One of my favorites from this set, for sure. Let's move on now to my Disney pin advent calendar for December 22nd. It's got a little Pooh Bear on today's drawer. I'm gonna open this right up and see which pin we are getting today. This one feels kind of small, so I think it's a Tsum Tsum pin. Oh, it's Alice! I don't have this pin either, this is great. So it is of course Alice from Alice in Wonderland and I love her little bow and this is one of the cuter Tsum Tsum pins I think. I hope you guys are having a magical holiday season. I'll be back tomorrow with more Vlogmas and more Disney advent calendars. See you real soon. Mm -hmm.